Welcome to the Lottery Equalizer 2015 video tutorials. This series of videos are intended to help you understand the Lottery Equalizer and how it can help you pick better numbers. When you start the program, the interface will eventually end up at this screen where you have a selection of either five ball games, six ball games, or multi-state games such as Powerball and Mega Millions to choose from. At the top of the screen, there's a help button that takes you to LotteryEqualizer.com. Members who have bought the program, inside the case there is a password for the member section. You enter that and you can go into the more advanced features there. Next to the help button is a tips F1. And what this really means is at any time while you're working the program, if you press the F1 key, a separate text file will open on the screen and show you the different play tips that you should try and adhere to. Those play tips are hand selected and they are very strong tips. You should always try and keep these tips as part of your number string that you're going to work with. Next to that you have the odds calculator which there you can go in for any lottery and, and figure out what your odds are and also access other features that are great such as having a uh, which is the hot balls, which ones are the cold balls, which ones are the most overdue balls, uh, evens versus odds, so many different pieces of data that you can use to build your own algorithm is available on that link. And then over here is the exit button itself, so that would end the program for you. So now all you have to do is select the game that you want to play. Will it be a five ball game, a six ball game, or a multi-state game? In this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick five ball games. When you click on it, the control panel shows every state that has five ball lotteries in it. And you just go to your state, I'll pick Florida, click on it, and now the interface is going to configure for the Florida Fantasy Five, which happens to be a 36 number uh, lottery, and it sh sends five balls down to the collection chute. So, up here, you'll notice that the Florida Fantasy 5 lights up when you roll over it. If you clicked on it, it will open the official Florida Fantasy 5 lottery website so you can check your numbers. And down here is the release button. When you press the release button, it's going to send five balls down to the chute. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so five balls have been sent down to the chute, and this is basically, at this point, a random number generator that has just pushed those numbers out. Now, there has been no adjustments to the algorithm. That's just, it, by default, it's going to randomly pick those numbers. Now, there's many other features that we can access to bend the numbers the way that we want to, um, but if you just want a random number, there you go. At that point, you can press the F1 button and check it against the play tips to make sure that this is a good number. And uh, that's how that works. If you didn't like the number, all you have to do is press the return button and it will send the numbers back into the hopper where if you release them again, a new series of five balls will show up. Now later on, I'm going to show you how you can have more advanced play by turning off and on certain numbers um, by increasing the probability of certain numbers you know depending on the algorithm that you're trying to build but if you just want a simple I just want to go down and choose some numbers hit the release button and there you go and that will take care of that for you okay now let's say you want to do several different lotteries like maybe you want to do the six ball lottery in your state all you have to do is hit the back button. It's going to bring you back to the five ball games. Hit the back button again, and it's going to bring you to the five, six, or multi-state. And then let's select six ball games. I'll select Florida. And notice now it's going to reconfigure for the Florida Lotto. Now the Florida Lotto has 53 numbers, and it's six balls that get shot down into the chute. So let's just go ahead and do that. And you're going to see six numbers make it into the chute. Notice that the button, the release button, disappears once you have all your numbers there. When you hit return, 
all the numbers go back into the hopper and the release button is once again visible. So that's how that works. Okay, let's take a look at the multi-state games. All we have to do to get there is back up a couple of times till we get to the main interface where it has five ball games, six ball games, or multi-state games. And we're going to select multi-state games. Once we do that, you'll see the different games that are available. We'll pick Powerball and we'll click on that icon. Now the interface is going to set up for the Powerball, which has 59 primary numbers. So there's 59 balls rolling around inside the hopper. We're going to release those balls. And in this case, there'll be five balls that have, will move down to the shoe. So let's send them down. Okay. There's the five balls. And you probably noticed that the release button turned to a bonus button. And that's so that you can get your bonus ball, because Powerball has an extra ball. So let's go ahead and click that. So as we do that, now you see that there's 35 balls here, which are the secondary balls, or the power ball. They're bouncing around. If you hit the bonus button one more time, it's going to send one right down to the chute. And if you don't like those, again, you can hit the return button and start all over. And hit the bonus ball. Send that down. Now, once again, you're probably going to want to look at the tips F1 by pressing the F1 button on your keyboard to look at the play tips because those tips apply to these games as well.